Hi, I'm Becky, and I work in the State Drinking Water Laboratory. Today, we're going to talk about drinking water sampling for PFAS. Sampling for PFAS is very important, and it is critical that the sampling is done properly to ensure accurate results. In this video, we will show you everything you need to do to ensure that your drinking water is tested. Grab your kit, and let's get started. Inside the kit, you will find the Request for Water Analysis PFAS form, sampling instructions, a prepaid return shipping label, and some other materials. Inside the cooler, you will find a pair of blue gloves, five ice packs, and five sampling bottles. Two of these bottles are labeled A and B. Set these aside for now. Grab your five ice packs and put them in the freezer. They need to be in the freezer for at least 24 hours before you can begin sampling. Now that it's been 24 hours, you'll want to figure out a place to sample the water from. You should pick somewhere where you drink water frequently, like your kitchen sink. Place your three unmarked bottles in a row near the sink. You may also want your sampling instructions nearby. Now, run the cold water for three minutes at full strength. You may want to set a timer. During this time, go wash and dry your hands at a different sink. Be careful not to touch anything on the way back. After three minutes, return to the sampling location and put on your gloves. Now you'll want to reduce the water flow to the thickness of a pencil. This will help prevent splashing while sampling. Take one of the three unmarked preservative bottles and carefully remove the cap. Be careful not to touch the inside of the cap or bottle as this could contaminate the sample. If you need to set down the cap, you can do so, but make sure you do it upside down. Place the bottle under the stream of water and fill to the shoulder of the bottle. Don't let the water overflow the neck of the bottle because that will wash out the preservative inside. Once the first bottle is filled, screw the cap on tightly and then fill the rest of the bottles. You'll now want to flip each bottle upside down a couple of times gently to mix in the preservative. Now that you've completed this for all three bottles, turn your attention to bottles A and B. You can remove the caps of both bottles. Remove both caps and carefully pour all of the contents of bottle A into bottle B. Screw the cap onto bottle B tightly and toss bottle A in your recycling bin. This is called a control sample, and it is an important part of sampling because it lets the lab know if the sample may have been contaminated during the sampling process. Once your form is complete, it's time to pack up your samples for shipping. Let's start with your ice packs. You want to place them like this. Notice how they make the letter I, like for ice pack. Now fill in the gaps with the sample bottles. It's important to pack this way because your sample must be received by the lab at the right temperature or it can't be tested. Now it's time to put the cooler lid on. Make sure you put it on tightly. Then place your form and payment on top. Now all you have to do is tape up the shipping box and place the prepaid UPS label on top of the box. Make sure to send the samples to the Eagle Lab right away. Your samples need to be received by the lab within 24 hours of sampling. If you want to drop off your samples in person, call the number on the screen to gain access to the building. To learn more about drinking water analysis in the State of Michigan Drinking Water Laboratory, please visit our webpage. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more instructional videos. Thank you for watching. Happy sampling.